Hey guys, what's up? So I wanted to make a quick unboxing and a mini review of the Airport Time Capsule 2 terabyte. Now, Apple released this. It's the new um, 802.11ac uh, wireless router from um, Apple. It has an included two terabyte hard drive. It costs about oh about sixty sixty dollars more than the um, the Airport Extreme. Um, and basically has the exact same features apart from this has a hard drive included for time machine backups if you don't use time machine um, I'm going to get on with opening the box here whilst talking about it if you don't use time machine then this is still um, a brilliant router so it's basically if you don't use time machine it's just uh, an 802.11 AC uh, wireless router with brilliant um, uh, ease of use and a 2 terabyte drive um, over your wireless network which is obviously awesome. So Apple has changed the design from the previous model so I'm going to lift it up here out of its <coughs> cuboid box which is what about seven inches big and it will, it will slowly come out and boom there it is. So Apple have changed it from a um, from a small flat rectangle to a tall uh, squared off sort of cuboid design so I'll put this off to the side here so we can take a look at that later come back over to the box we have designed by Apple in California and there's a nice little plate thing there we have a UK wool uh, main adapter which is lovely and thin I love these ones uh, but up to the side and we have a time capsule setup guide so this will just tell you how to use the software to set up the time capsule okay so here is the time capsule itself it has the exact same um, width and uh, height Oh, width and length, sorry, of the Apple TV and the Airport Express, uh, which is awesome. It sort of looks like lots of Airport Express, uh, Express or um, Apple TV sort of stacked on top of each other. And it comes up about six and a half inches uh, thick. So the bottom layer has just come off here. The bottom protective piece of plastic. It's not Apple logo, that's quite nice. So we'll put that away to the side. And we can actually take a look at the bottom now, because that was sort of uncalled for and you can see the little uh, glowy apple logo or glossy apple logo there now this is actually covered in a protective piece of plastic so we can get the little thing here you can see the ports okay so now it's out of all of its packaging we can take a closer look around the time capsule so on the top we have a sort of um, matte sort of finish apple logo there it's black and um, the top is also a matte white plastic moving around we have glossy plastic body all the way around this uh, this cuboid here um, on the back we have our I.O. So we have three gigabit Ethernet ports, a USB 2.0 port, a WAN port, so this is for uh, plugging in your Ethernet connection from your actual router, and a power plug as well as a little reset button on the bottom. Moving on to the bottom of the whole device, we have a little foot pedal, and it's hard to hard to really show you that, but there's a glossy foot pedal here with four little notches and a bit of ventilation for the hard drive. So there you go guys, there was my unboxing and quick tour of the uh, Apple Airport uh, Extreme Time Capsule thing, 2 terabyte. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please leave a like, hit subscribe for the future videos. You can also go through my previous videos, I have about 30 uploads now and I hit about two, um, 250 something subscribers the other day so I was pretty happy about that. Um, the product itself, it's a brilliant product, it literally works as a 2 terabyte NAS if you if you're on, say, Windows, you can use it as a 2TB NAS, um, but if you're on OS X, you can use it as a NAS and Time Machine backup. So if you use it for one, you can use it for both. Like I said, thanks for watching. hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.